Robots moving off on both sides of the field. Canine Crusaders quickly going to place a hatch panel on the rocket. While the Red Alliance does the same. As we exit our sandstorm period, looks like two hatches for blue, one for red. K9 Crusaders grab another hatch, another cargo into the cargo ship for the Blue Alliance. Over at the Red Alliance, Raid grabbing cargo, their Alliance member, Circuit Breakers, grabbing more cargo as well. Over at the Blue Alliance, trying to place another hatch panel is 3218. K9 Crusaders in with more cargo for blue. Red trying to do the same. And it's good. We're really close. Red leads by three. K9 Crusaders place more cargo into their rocket. Oh no! And the Panthers have taken a tumble for the Blue Alliance. They're on their side. K9 Crusaders trying to make up for some lost time there, grabbing some more cargo. Red Alliance scoring more cargo is Raid. Raid goes to collect another hatch for the Red Alliance, while their Alliance partner does so as well. That's 45-13, Circuit Breakers. It's like MVR playing some defense over there on the blue side. As we approach the 33 second mark, K9 Crusaders are getting in a position to climb. Blue still holds the, the lead. Red shoots a cargo and miss. Blue Alliance has one robot on one. K9 Crusaders are trying to get onto the third. 4469 trying to do their flip. Do they lock themselves in place with seven seconds left? It's looking pretty good from here. With three, two, one. There's our match. Currently tied up. We'll see what the refs have to say about that. So, not, it is a tie, but Blue, because of their greater hatch panel placement, ends up with the win in this tie, thus meaning we're going to go to a tiebreaker round.